I'm Ryan Stevens from the Race with Ryan podcast. And I'm Tom Stout with Speedway Video, and this is a very different episode of Do a Burnout. We're in the middle of a heat wave, practice is going on, you can hear that, the AC is blowing, we are at EJ's American Auto Tire Emporium. We're going to have random people stop in, try some hot sauce, answer a question. It's going to be what we call a montage season finale. All right, we have with us Tyler Vickery. He's been a driver, a spectator racer, he's a photographer, Every, media. He does a little bit of everything around here. We got the, the two big popular ones, the hot lap green flag and the dirty dicks. And then we've got the bad boy, the pucker butt. So you can pick which one you want to try. What do you want to go for? Uh, I'll go with the uh, Ryan's. It's a first. it's a good it's a good pick. If that is not a wimpy pick. That is a wise pick. <laughs> that is a very wise pick. I would go delicious. for the barbecue, but I want to try the because I know throughout all the videos you guys done, it's always gotten hotter, hotter. Uh, but everyone's oh, always how good it is. So I want to. Yeah, like, that's one I want to try. Go for it, man. And while you're enjoying yeah. that, this is the Do a Burnout season blowout. So you can reach into the blowout, blowout bag. bag. <laughs> And pick a question. That's actually pretty good. Right? It's got the late spice to it. Okay. <laughs> Say one nice thing about your least favorite NASCAR driver. Ooh. That's actually kind of hilarious. So... Oh man, I'm trying to... This is going back to... <laughs> this is going back to ways where... I know we were talking about this before with Full Sail. Um, I had a meet. I had a chance to do media day the year of uh, Newman's big wreck. Oh, okay. so yeah. Okay. That same day we had the Daytona 500 for our i racing for the Coke series for the Enas for Coke series. So I had a chance to talk to William Byron, Danny Hamlin, everyone that owned the team. I'm trying to remember one of the drivers I talked with. Uh, it might have been Castorella, honestly. I want to. See. He was the one that I was like. Hey, guy when you don't have a microphone in his face but when you have a microphone in his face yeah it's a different skill yeah it, it was a one-off driver too um some people don't like the media yeah great guy but all right we have with us michael Pickle, driver of the 35 ashley holmes jacks pro truck leading the points right now so we're gonna get straight to the point so we can get back to uh, back yeah, to work yeah practice is over but there's still more work to be done go ahead and pick your sauce my you friend pick your poison hmm. sweet yeah. A little less sweet. Hot. Go with the hot. Go with the hot. Hey, oh. going with the hot. It's a brave man. The pucker butt reaper squeezins. Big deal. That was, yeah. Yes, that is a brave man. Well, I'm going to ask you while you process that. <laughs> if you could take over the lead role in any movie, which one would it be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably the movie Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Hey, like all right, all right. The 2007 Wachowski Speed Racer movie. Yeah. Not the old fashioned cartoon. Or I do like the cartoon better, but. Yeah, fair, yeah, fair enough. I remember uh, John Goodman saying, those were ninjas, those were nonjas. Nonjas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a great movie. Not many people talk about that one. That's a good pick. That's mm -hmm. a good pick. It's I dig perfect. it. Yeah, it's for, one of my favorite ones. Good pick for somebody trying to go fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good racing scenes in that. Yeah, You're not going to see anything. my nickname since I've had, since I've been racing. Oh, right. okay. Oh, well, hey. Now the announcer know. knows. <laughs> How's that treating you? Pretty good. It's definitely hot. It's hot, yeah. Well, hey, that's going to be a little, little speed boost. A little yeah, for tonight. Uh, any right. shout outs you want to give? Or um, I would like to shout out my uh, my dad and Paul for getting the truck ready. And uh, my mom and all them who are coming out to watch me race this weekend. And uh, my girlfriend, uh, she'll be here too. Gotta add that in there. Oh, yeah. Dude, that Don't is a that. badass yeah. reaction to the Reaper Squeezing <laughs> yes. sauce. All right. All right, everybody. We have with us the man EJ Wilcoxon from American Auto. He's a pace car driver, tire guy, does a little bit of everything around here. EJ is going to be brave enough to try with one of our spicy sauces. Absolutely. Here. You love spicy sauces, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Who doesn't? <laughs> absolutely. Reach on into the blowout bag, pick yourself out a question. <laughs> Ooh, I, it's been a popular one. Is it? Yeah. All right, while you're thinking about that, not bad. what would be your dream vacation? I'm going to go to Disney World. <laughs> Disney okay. World? Disney World. Yeah, 45 minutes out of way. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, out of way. Not a big yeah. world travel. <laughs> but big you can world. go to Epcot and get, you Do know. Do the whole thing. That or Colorado Springs, Colorado. There okay. you go. It's not bad at all. Yeah, see? See, we're not trying to kill I'm you. I'm ready for another question. You ready for another ready, question? You know, let's do it. Here. All right. What's oh, this is a good one for EJ. Oh, no. What is the fa what is your favorite car you've ever owned? Sixty eight Pontiac Firebird. 
What about that made it your favorite? My first car. Your first car? Okay. You wonder what my first car was? Volkswagen. Well, a minivan. Yep. So definitely not quite as cool. It carried his drum kit. Yes, and allowed for other things to happen, but anyway. That's a different Very show. Very good. Oh, that's that's, yeah, that's a different show. That's another hot <laughs> sauce. That ain't bad at all. Yeah, good that's enough that you yeah. went for seconds. I'm not touching that. No, oh, that, I've seen the reaction on the last one. Listen, you're going to have Michael Whipple who tried that one behind you on pace oh, last night, so watch out. That was, a, that was a badass reaction from him, yeah, too. Well, he was just like, yeah. oh, yeah. Here, like, we know, yes, here's how we know what that one is. He was hanging on the edge there, wasn't he? You can yeah. see it in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> he might be late to the driver's meeting. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give him a pass. <laughs> hope not. I'm leading. EJ. Awesome, man. Give everybody a shout out. Working For fast, you. friendly, dependable service, you can count on American Auto. This is uh, super, like, ridiculously blow your yeah. socks off hot. So. Yeah. Well, I should probably do that one. You, I mean, that's going <laughs> to get the best stop. video, but we're I not. I don't have to drive, so I can. Well, we're not trying to kill you, but I know be funny if you kill me. Then get that one. It okay. would get a lot of views. I'll do the hot one. All right. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Here we go. All right, with us now we have Dylan LeBeau, driver of the, well, everything. The 47 Pro Late slash Super Late, the 16 Pro Truck, 16 E-Mod, 75 E-Mod, uh, 88 Sports, I think I nailed them, and he drives around the uh, the big track at Daytona for the NASCAR Racing Experience. Oh a little bit of everything there. Ooh. Pick your poison here. Uh-oh. Grab a piece oh, of chicken, pick your sauce. <laughs> How far back can I go with that? <laughs> yeah, you caught it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah as, much as, you, as much as you want, as much as you want. Okay, go for it. so... I don't like spicy food, so I'm gonna go for the spiciest one. Oh man, all right. Yep. Is that enough? That's a good dab, that's a good yeah. dab. That'll do ya. While you're processing wow. that. Wow, hot. Wow. All right. <laughs> hey, if it makes you feel better, man. Yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right. Oh man, it's hot. All right, so tell us about a bad date you've been on. That is this hot. right here? <laughs> yeah, this, this is the worst date I've ever been on. Um, I love the cuss. Mm-hmm, yeah. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> that is hot. It gets worse. Wait, the um, date or the chicken sauce? The, yeah. It'll be so back in like eighth grade when like chicks started to become cool. I met this chick, and my friend was dating her friend. It's only getting worse. Is that normal? Uh -huh. Yes. That's oh right. yeah. <laughs> oh god. My friend was dating her friend, and we were like, oh, let's all go on like a double date. This is terrible. <laughs> and we went on double date to mini golf, and I was super nervous because this was like my first interaction with a chick. And so we didn't talk the entire time. Like we said, maybe hi and bye to each other. Just each other very, yeah. This, this is awful. Awful. This is I've terrible. I've got some water. It might make it worse, <sighs> though. I don't keep going. Yeah. Okay. Sure, right. Can I keep <laughs> answering questions? You know, let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. one. I, th I want to get a racing related. Well, you can pick this uh, one. I'll pick it. Yeah. There are there are racing. See what I got. I'm gonna start crying. If that's okay. another racing related, I got a racing. Yeah. And this, <laughs> this works out for a man who drives a lot of different divisions. So, what oh, is your favorite racing division to watch? To watch? Yep. Oh man, this is, this is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, to watch tour mods. Tour mods? Yeah. Okay. Why tour mods? Because they are really fast. And a lot of times, really fast cars can't pass each other. They can, they're really fast, and they're still able to race each other really hard, make passes, yeah. and they hit they hit the shit out of each other. The maneuverability of those things is crazy. And the durability, they're able to like hit each other really hard and not upset the car in front of them too much. You want to drive one someday? Yeah, if you had the chance. Not with hot sauce in my mouth, but yeah. That, and actually, tank. it's proven that you pick up a couple tenths of a second if you take a down to that before you get on track. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it'll put your foot down. Okay. I'll remember that for next time. Right? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Ready? Sure. It's like, I guess. Yes. All right, we have our next guest, Ronda Alessandro, driver of the X9 machine in the Brown Pounder division. Ton of wins this year, driving for Pagano's, trying to give everybody that, that, that special discount there. Yes. For yeah, 25% off your bill, you know, off Pagano's if I win. That's I like that. So, and I get a canola. And you get it, yes. <laughs> no, and sometimes <laughs> I get a canola well, too by yeah, accident. So. Yeah, you get <laughs> collateral damage. So I don't know if uh, Gano says anything as hot as these sauces here, but... Uh, I don't know. they got really good sauce on their pizza, but I don't think they're, they're in the realm of what you guys have got here. That's weird. It says, why do they call you the naked welder? <laughs> well, you're enjoying the, the There's dirty There's a story there if you want to hear it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got time. Okay, that's for uh, another episode. Feel what free. is your favorite racetrack? Functioning racetrack? A anything. Sorry, Ryan, it's Riverside Park Speedway. Riverside Park. What about Riverside makes it your favorite? 
uh, grew up there since six weeks old. That's how it starts. And um, family track up until it closed. You felt like family, you felt like part of the show. Not that I'm saying I don't feel part of it here because I do feel very, very welcomed at New Smyrna. Can't beat, can't beat the old park. And that's the one that had like the amusement park. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Intermission, you could go over there. And, you know, when my father's cars were running, go out and park on the merry ground, absolute kid. And um, afterwards, everybody would go in the pits. We don't have that here. We, I wish we did. Right. Um, going to pits, drivers, they knew the drivers. Every, you know, it was, it was a family thing. It wasn't even, you never felt like an outsider. You felt like you were always part of the show. Well, that's, a, that's a good goal for us to, to try to get to. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, the past year, I've been here three years. I've been racing here three years. We're getting there. Um, it's starting, the camaraderie is really getting there, especially the Bomber A, Bomber B's. Mm -hmm. um, the Ground Pounders working on it. Um, 602s, they're all, you know, they're all one family. But I mean, the, the Hattons have the, basically that whole thing covered. Um, through Speedway video and through your podcast, everybody feels like they know it. Uh, that's what we're that's what we're trying to do with our little party. And that was fantastic sauce. Buddy. Yeah, I was going to say, and the viewers can insert their <laughs> own joke. You might have been getting a little choked up by it. No, not really. No? no okay. I mean, I tip of the tongue, but you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have our next guest on the show, Scott Cutter, driver of the number zero ground pounder. He's always up front in the stock car division, and he's a man of the people. You'll see him in the grandstands. If, he's, uh, if you come to a race here when he is racing, Scott, thanks for coming on here. My pleasure. Um, he's going for the dirty dicks. So uh, you can name for us a show that you've been watching lately. It says been obsessed with, but I'll give you a little bit Last more. Last Man Standing. Last yeah? Man Standing. Okay. okay. I'll watch that over. So you, you'd say maybe obsessed with? Sure. Disney canceled it. It's a Tim Allen product. Um, he oh, does. Yeah. He plays a conservative family yes. man. Yes. Okay. It's really I good. know what that is. Yeah. Good quality family stuff. And yeah. I'm a fan. And when it comes to Tim Allen, home improvement, man. Yeah, yes. I loved that when I was growing up watching that with my parents. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. he, he converted some of his stand-up into books in the 90s, and I remember I read those when I was yep. a kid, and I, I thought they were hilarious. Yeah, he's very down to earth. Um, his humor is, you know, it's good quality family stuff. And I had kids growing up, so we watched Tim Allen, um, the Home Improvement, and then he came back, and uh, now I just watched the reruns. Good stuff, right? Yeah, and the uh, hot sauce was very good. Yeah, it was spicy, but not too not too bad. No, yeah, not at all. Yeah. Thanks, man. Well, well, my pleasure. Last man standing to that victory lane. Yes, there we go. There uh, we go. Let's hope that's not how we get there. Right? Well, <laughs> Dylan's coming back for more. I'm still dying. Yeah, Ryan wants me to do more. Try the green it's, one. It's not going to make it worse? It's the number one sauce. Yeah, that, that's true. You didn't answer my question. It's not going to make it worse? It's, it's the number one sauce. <laughs> I'm already dying, can I? Listen, yeah. there's some sugar in this one, and sugar helps. Should I do it? Will you do it with me? Yes, yeah, we'll I want to, actually. I was I was just actively trying to decide whether or not we have enough we left I, for I me have to have more, some. Because so. I really like this sauce. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Mm. <laughs> it's the first person that I don't like my sauce. I'm not a sauce person. Apparently. <laughs> and my mouth is currently on fire. Pick a question. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what is your least favorite form of racing? Yeah, so like, eating hot sauce, man. <laughs> questions. <laughs> um, favorite form, like. So like motorcycles, boats, oh. drag racing, um, um, relay racing, airboat racing. Did I say that? That's okay, it. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but drag racing. Okay. I want to I want to do it one time just to say I've done like 300 miles an hour. Okay. But other than that, it's not really. I mainly because I don't get it. Like they're all yeah. like the, the pre stage lights. Like, oh, he's playing games with lights. Like no, he just nudged no, forward. No, it's, it's like a restart. Fuck many games. Yeah, but I just don't get it. I don't get it either. Yeah, and then it's it's really just whoever goes first. I think mm -hmm. not much. I mean, honestly, like for me, it's they come to the line, they do burnouts, they yeah. prep their whatever. I don't know, start racing at all. Um, they, they spend more time getting ready for the race. Yeah, than the actual when the, when race. The race is like five seconds. Right. If if that. I mean, when they wreck, though, it's pretty spectacular, I think but that, then it's also scary. Like, I don't know what they're called, super stock, or the cars that do, like, the huge wheelies that, like, like the look right. or something. That, yeah, it right. looks yeah. like a real car. That's, yes. I could get a little bit more behind that, but, like, the top fuel, yeah, and I call that Funny cars, dragsters, yeah. 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 
do people bet on it? I think like that kind of thing happens in like the local drag racing. You might be able to bet or race for pink stamps. Yeah, because then you like kind that. of want it to be quick and, and over with so they yeah. can place more bets. Yeah, but the, the problem is like it's not really quick. It takes forever for the next thing to happen. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's like a football play. They, they're in the huddle for 35, 40 seconds. The play lasts five seconds. Then you wait, wait, and wait. Then the next play happens, and you might. Do it. Well, the drone videos look cool. Yeah. You got time for one more? I, I'll sit here and do them all. I'm, I'm crew today. There's no pressure <laughs> on me. This is Dylan's being a trooper. Absolutely. That, okay, that is helping. It is help, yeah. help more? Will it make you feel better, man? Listen, man, this is... I'll get, here, I'll give it another try without mouth on fire. All right. I guess that was a lot. <laughs> Probably more than one. This is... <laughs> this is such a stupid question I came up with, but I'm going with it. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or stuck in a broken elevator? I thought you were going to say a sinking boat <laughs> or in, with a shark. What's that with the... You want to get electrocuted in the oh. water or the shark? Oh, okay, what, all right. What's the actual but, question? Do, would you rather be stuck on a ski lift or stuck in a broken elevator? Um, does the elevator have AC? Yeah. Ski lift. Ski lift? Because you're outside? Yeah. Miles from and, and depending on how high I find I could just jump for it. Okay, but I feel like... All the thousand way feet in the air, rabbit walls blow. Like, <laughs> like in that one movie. Yeah. What's that movie called? Frozen. It, oh yeah, it is called Frozen, isn't it? It's. I think I could climb the ski lift. Okay. Having a so like, you could just, yeah, I could like all that holding the wheel and yeah, something the like hot that. sauce making strong. The the elevator, you're stuck. Let's see. Yeah, at least at least up here. Like in the ski lift, you might be as trapped as in the elevator, but at least you can sort of see your yeah. surroundings in the elevator, you don't know Yeah, you can see if on. someone's coming to save you. The elevator, you have no idea. Plus, in Final Destination 2, the one lady gets decapitated by the elevator oh, while she's I was gonna, being rescued. I was gonna ask, is, isn't there a movie where they, like, they're coming out of elevators and it? Yep. Oh, God, yep, yep. So, shark or electrocution? Uh, shark. You can kick him in the nose, I think. No, we, we don't get political on the show, but you know, shark or electrocution. Yeah, I think you just jump the shark. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. If I see a shark, I'm just give it a boot in the nose. It's supposed to, yeah, yeah, you're like, supposed to like, like a, be able to guide it away. Yeah, or like an uh, alligator, you can flip it upside down. Right. It's really? like a turtle, you render it useless. Or I a cockroach. I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> I think it makes them pass out. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep some of that reaper sauce with me at all times and just. <laughs> holy water. <laughs> that, would, that would make anything run away. Okay, okay your, so your sauce is better. Is it better? Not on fire. Okay. Not my forte, but it's... You got a bunch of sponsors, a bunch of people that oh, you got me on the spot. Yeah. Wh which car? Because I got different sponsors for different cars. Who are the main people that help you? Main people? How about I go do car owners? I forget okay. car owners. There you go. Can I, can I switch up the question a little bit? I, like that. I got some awesome car owners that I'm driving for. We'll start with the Pro Late model. Tim Bagnell, he's been awesome. Started off as just helping with like stuff he had laying around the shop. We needed something. Like, hey Tim, you got this, you had it. Eventually, now I'm driving for him, driving his car for him. That's a lot of fun. Bobby Blake, of course, he was my first true car owner. Um, he's been awesome. He's helped me a ton, not only with giving me something to drive, but coaching me behind the wheel, helping me with knowledge because he's been doing this for a long time. And uh, Rick Harris, of course, Rick Harris Racing. We've been struggling with, with the Rick Harris Mobile a little bit, but slowly finding things. The new thing, like when somebody sells a car, is like no use parts, right? Well, that car has all the used parts. There's not a new part on it. So, which one is that? The 88, 88. Sports Engine. Mm -hmm. So, being that like I'm on the lead lap, I think it's pretty impressive. I think we need a new nickname, Frank and Beefy. I like that. Yep. Frank and Beefy. Okay, we've combated the heat. We've combated the roaring AC and the practice noise and everything. A couple people did try the crazy sauce. We've got two pieces of chicken left. I think there's only one way to end it. Answer more questions. All right, let's eat more chickens. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon, right? All right, <laughs> should we both answer the same one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> the, All right. A decisive man right here. All right, so Ryan's reaching into the blowout bag to pick our question. You know, we already in solidarity went for the pucker butt. I'm going back for the hot lap once more. I'm the going hot lap dirty flag. And this thing. There we go. In our magical question. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> See, we, we put that question okay. in there because we wanted, like, you know, somebody who's never heard of Pokemon before, and Tom and I are both, if, if there's something nerdy that we both like, it's Pokemon. And we were like, I do have a full living Dex. Having somebody who's never heard of Pokemon before answer a question that they've never heard before would have been gold, so <laughs> we'll give you some honest answers. Tom, what's your favorite Pokemon? Okay. It's probably better that you're going second because my answer is terrible. 
uh, no disrespect to my favorite Pokemon, which is Electabuzz. I am a, an original 151 purist. I didn't 151er. even. 151er. I'm pretty sure um, Electabuzz was only in blue version, right? And I had red version, so I couldn't even get right. Electabuzz for whatever reason. Like I genuinely don't know to this day why I like Electabuzz. And in Generation Four, they added an evolution for him, and I still like Electabuzz better. I don't know why. I just dig him. It I've is always cool. thought he was cool. There's no real other reason than that. Still to this day, I'm like, Electabuzz is my guy. My favorite Pokemon has been and always will be Snorlax. The oh, big giant of course, sleeping bear. Yes, yes. And yes. Um, recently <laughs> let my daughter look at Pokemon Go because she likes to yes, look at the Pokemon. Yes, of course. And uh, one of her favorites is uh, Mawile. But another one of her favorites. With the weird like, mouth. The weird head mouth thing. that's not yeah. really its head. Yeah. She, she thinks it's a yeah. So. Yeah. But then um, she sees Snorlax and goes, Look, Dad, it's Sleeping Bear. So. Sleeping Bear is my favorite movie. What and a way that to... was do a burnout. <laughs> what a way to end season one. Uh, we want to thank everybody that came in today yeah. here uh, live at the track. We know one round of practice, it's hot crazy out there. Uh, so thank you to those that took some time to come on. And uh, thank you to all of our guests here in season one. Hopefully you guys learned something about some of our racers um, and enjoy the content and enjoy watching a couple of people. So. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, it works. <laughs>